Hello, my name is Arthur, and in this video we're looking at getting a turret out of Blender and into Godot. So, because my model is so very basic, I don't really see a purpose to demonstrating modeling something like this. And this is some pretty generic stuff. Um, it's just a, a shape to to rotate and carry a gun basically and you know there's nothing special about it that that a person can easily come up with their own graphic like this because it is just super basic um, so yeah when we put that away it was modeled onto the tank but that doesn't really matter that's just more for scale now, because of the nature of these two objects, um, I think that they actually need to be exported separately. Um, here's the issue with them. The origin of these things is very important. So where the origin is, um, needs to go into Godot. And the reason for that is, is the origin of the gun, for example, is what's going to create its rotation point so the gun can be elevated. So to elevate the gun, it has to have its rotation point where it's at. Then when it comes to the turret, to rotate the turret, the way that we want it to rotate around a specific pivot point um, we have to have that origin um, when we export if we were to export these two pieces as one piece getting them to act as two pieces again um, presents a difficulty so what we'll do is we'll export them as separate pieces so will be export collada this time we're check marking selection only um, I do include children but I don't you know I don't think that anything here qualifies as children so this one I'm going to export as tank turret for the scene So we'll export that name and then we'll export the gun and we'll call that tank 120 millimeter And, oh, I hope I put that in the right place. Yeah, I did. Okay. So we'll export that piece. And those should go into Godot. So let's see what we ended up with. Root type spatial. Um, let's try kinematic body. That might make more sense. So we'll re-import that as a kinematic body. And this same deal. We'll try it as a kinematic body. And I've never tried to actually assemble a tank in 3D. So importing from Blender, I've done more with... Um, sort of walking types of characters with animations and stuff than I have with something like this. So we'll re-import that. Let's open up the 120 millimeter and see what we got. Really the important part is if it will rotate the way that we need it to. And that's just not going to do what we need it to do. So let's close that up. That's no good. So let's go back into Blender. And here's what we'll do. Um, we're going to snap. 
cursor to world origin and then send the selection to the cursor and we'll export it like this I think we'll have to actually move it around and reassemble it in Godot so that's 120 millimeter now we'll do the same thing to this one so selection to cursor and export Colada selection only imports tank turret okay we probably got a bunch of errors here because okay so that's a kinematic body that to kinematic body and now we'll have a look at what we got okay so that gun's gonna rotate properly now that's what we needed um how did i open that scene it must have opened it wrong there we go so we'll delete that animation player, okay. This is wanting a collision shape. Um, so we'll give it a collision shape. A cylinder let's see we need to rotate that 90 degrees on the Z axis okay that looks good and we'll just do that Let's bring up the size of that just so we can see. And we don't need it to go to this end because if something was to hit the tank at this end, it's going to hit the turret anyways. So that's fine, like that. We'll save this. Oh, we have to specify, so tank parts, save, we'll open up the turret, open anyways, animation player, we'll get rid of that, we'll give it a collision shape. Um, let's see, what is that going to come out like? I think that will just actually end up where we need it. So I'll just shrink that down. More or less like that will be fine. And... That should be good too. So we'll save this and then I think we need to assemble it in, um, I don't know if we can assemble that right on the tank. Maybe that's the way to go about it, is to drop this stuff right into the tank scene and see if that works so yeah that's what I'm going to try we'll go with turret and we'll drop that on the tank we'll pull that up and see what we got we're going to need to get in much closer um
Yeah, that should be okay. So we can just nestle that into the mesh a little bit. As long as our collision shapes aren't grossly overlapping or overlapping at all. I'd rather not have them overlap at all. So that looks okay. Let's try the gun now. So we'll parent the gun. And I think we'll parent the gun to the turret. And see how that works out. So we'll just pull that up. And... Um, I don't know. See how much of that we should get out. should be good like that and that fit together pretty nicely like that was not very difficult to put back together and that looks okay so yeah the important part of that is really this simple we have all of the rotation that we need from these parts. So, yeah, that looks pretty good. Let's save that. Um, control save. We'll go into floor and see what that looks like. Okay, nothing's flying around. That's a good sign. It's always a bad sign when you start it up and, and all of the parts go flying across the scene. Okay, so in the next video, we'll get the turret rotating. with um i'm going to use my left and right trigger buttons and um the d-pad to elevate and raise and lower the turret and then a shoot button will come up with a shoot button and yeah that'll be in the next video and until then take care